Hello people, today we are going to learn about projects, project initiation. So let's see. An opportunity to create business value from using information technology initiates a project. Feasibility analysis helps determine whether or not to proceed with the, the project. <coughs> Projects are selected based on the business need and project risk. The project sponsor is the key person who identifies business value to be gained from using information technology. The approval committee reviews system requests from groups throughout the organization and selects projects for the benefit of the business. Identifying projects with business value. How do projects begin? Business need should drive projects. Project sponsor recognizes business need for new system and desires to see it implemented. Business need determines system's functionality, what it will do. The, the project business should be clear. System request. A document describing business reason for project system's expected value. List of the project's key elements are project sponsor, business need, business requirement, and business value, and special issues or constraints. System request example can be this project sponsor can be VP of marketing, business need can be reach new customers and improve service to existing customers. Business requirement can be provide web based shopping capability, business value can be 750,000 in new customer sales and 1.8 million in existing customer sales. Special issues or constraints can be system must be operational by holiday shopping season. Then there is a preliminary project acceptance. System request is reviewed by approval committee. Then based on the information provided project merits are assessed. Worthy projects are accepted and undergo additional investigation the feasibility in analysis. What's feasibility analysis? It's detailed business case for the project. It includes technical feasibility, economic feasibility and organization feasibility. Compiled into feasibility study and it is reassessed throughout the project. The technical feasibility in includes users and analysts familiarity with the business application area, familiarity with technology, how, how we used it before, how new it is, then project size, which is number of people, time and feature, then compatibility with existing system. Then economic feasibility, the question to be asked is should we build it? Identify cost and benefit, assign values to cost and benefit, determine the cash flow and assess the financial uh, viability which is net present value, return on investment and break even point. Net present value is the sum of present values of expected inflows minus the outflows, investment or cost. Whenever there is a higher NPV, the better is the project. Then return on investment is a return ratio that compares the net benefit of a project with its total costs. That is net benefit over total cost. Then there is a break even point. The amount of time it takes to recover the investment. Tangible versus intangible cost. Tangible cost includes revenue that the system enables the organization to collect, such as increased sales. Then there is intangible cost, which are based on the intuition and belief rather than hard numbers. Assigned cost and benefit values. Difficult but essential to estimate. Work with, work with the people who are most familiar with the area to develop estimates. 
Tangible, intangible should be quantified. If intangibles cannot be quantified, list and include as a part of supporting material. Uh, assess financial viability using net present value. Net present value is the summation of future cash flows minus summation of present value of future outflows. Present value is cash flow amount divided by 1 plus interest rate over N where interest rate is required return and N is the number of years in the future. If NPV is greater than 0 then project is ok. If NPV is less than 0 then project is unacceptable. Return on investment is the net benefits over total cost. Assess uh, financial viability, uh, break even point, how long the long before the project returns match the amount invested. The longer it takes to break even, the higher the project risk. Organization feasibility is uh, if we build it, will they come? Strategic and al alignment, how well do the project goals align with the business objectives? Then we do stakeholder analysis, project champions, organizational management, and system users. All these three are stakeholder. Then there is project selection method, project selection issues, approval committee works with works from the system request and the feasibility study, project portfolio, how does the project fit within the entire portfolio of the project. Then trade-offs must be made to select project that will form a balanced project portfolio. Viable projects may be rejected or deferred because of the project portfolio issues. There are various uh, project selection methods which can be used. Uh, one is benefit me uh, measurement method under which there is a scoring model and then comparative approaches which is BCR analysis which is benefit cost ratio. And there are economic models which deals with ROI and IRR. Then there are other met methods which is um, which deals with finance, which is discounted cash flow methods. Then there is another method which, which is called life cycle cost, opportunity cost, break even point or payback period. All these will be dealt in detail in next tutorial. So the summary of the today's chapter is here. Project initiation involves creating and assessing goals and expectations for a new system. Identifying business value for new project is the key to success. Feasibility study is concerned with ensuring that technical, economic and organizational benefits outweigh the cost and risk. Project selection involves viewing the project within the context of the entire project portfolio and selecting those projects that contribute to balance in the portfolio. So guys, I hope you got some idea on the project initiation and the new terms which you learned in this tutorial. I will explain it in next tutorial with examples. So come back to my channel or subscribe to my channel for more videos on the <coughs> project design and other things. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.